What is going on, my super sandwiches? Romstar here, and today, once again, I'm joined by the one and only Trade Fantastic. What up, Danny? What up? What's the first funniest thing that comes to your mind? Go. Banana. Banana. Yeah, bananas are pretty hilarious. <laughs> today, we're going to be doing a very interesting topic in regards to Dragon Ball Super, and that really is, will there be more Saiyans introduced in the series? Now, originally, when uh, Frieza destroyed the uh, planet Vegeta and the whole Saiyan race, there were only a handful of Saiyans that survived, and originally, we saw Raz that survived, Goku, Nappa, and Vegeta, and that's that's everybody, right? Uh, yeah, and also with the inclusion of the movies, we have Turtles who survived, and then also Tarble was introduced in Yo Son Goku and His Friends Return, which originally wasn't a canon movie, but then uh, Toriyama made Tarble canon when he mentioned him in Battle of God, so Tarble is a real person. So obviously, you could always kind of uh, easily write into another another scene into the story, but just saying, oh well, this person was somewhere else when Frieza blew it up. So the question is, is will we see more Saiyans? In Dragon Ball Super. Now, obviously, Tarble will probably be returning and have kind of a role. I feel like he has to, just because you can't just not give us Tarble anymore, especially after Toriyama mentioned it. But uh, Danny actually had a pretty good point that he wanted to bring up. So, T Danny, why don't you go ahead and introduce the the further point to the topic? Uh, yeah, so I've been, I've been thinking about it a little bit. Uh, you know, this, just the Saiyan race in general. And it's not too far off to suspect that other Saiyans survived the, you know, the epic fight between, like, Frieza and... Uh, and the rest of the Saiyans. Um, so I feel like there's got to be some other Saiyans just out there living their life, not really knowing what to do. And we have Vegeta, who it has all this new power, and you know what is he going to do with it in Dragon Ball Super? He's obviously not just going to you know lay down. And I feel like deep down, Vegeta has always had that Saiyan pride, rightfully so, because he was the prince. He was you know well, and technically now I, I mean he is the king, uh, because. Once the king dies, the prince becomes the king. So he always referred to himself as the prince of all Saiyans, but I feel like a, a more appropriate title is he is the king of all Saiyans. And so I think it would be really cool if he kind of brought them all back together and, you know, if he could find any. And basically we see like a, a repopulation sort of sorts with um, the Saiyan race and them being able to pass down their skills. Because, I mean, when the Saiyans came into play... In comparison to everything else, they're super weak. And now, you know, with Vegeta and Goku and even the kids, you know, Gohan, Trunks, Goten, they, they can all go Super Saiyan uh, easily. And so I feel like they could, you know, there's a lot that they could do and, like, pass down and teach the other Saiyans and stuff. And so I think it would be really cool if Vegeta, like, went out there in search of any of the other surviving Saiyans and, you know, brought them back, banded them together, was their king. I think that that would be really cool. So what I was actually going to say is, this, is the reason why I wanted to do this topic with you is because I think the opposite is going to happen here. This is going to be kind of us clashing and having a pretty fun discussion. I'm sure everybody watching this is also going to have their own opinion. So at any point in this video, feel free to pause it and leave a comment in the comment section below. But honestly, I don't think Vegeta is to the point where he would want to do that. I don't think he cares anymore, which I know sounds kind of weird because he is the prince. But like when, you know, when playing Vegeta kind of blew up, he never really cared that much. Like he was a very selfish warrior at the time. And he cared more about, number one, getting strong with himself, and two, kind of getting revenge on Frieza, but not because of what he did to his race. He just didn't like Frieza. I feel like Vegeta, and especially now, just doesn't really care about the existence of other Saiyans anymore. And other than that, his brother existing, even even he, he even had a brother that apparently existed, and he kind of knew about it and never really uh, seeked out. Uh, so I feel like just because of the way Vegeta's been presented now, and since he's grown so much, he wouldn't really care. But also, it, it would be cool to see. And I feel like we might see more Saiyans, but I don't think it's going to be to the point where Vegeta is going to be really affected by it. I don't know. So see, so my, my counter argument to this is that I think Vegeta, I mean, especially, so the number one thing is the scene on Namek when Vegeta is about to die right before Frieza kills him. And he tells this very heartfelt story about why he hates Frieza. And he, he absolutely hates Frieza because he wiped out the entire Saiyan race. Right. So, I mean, he says that and, that, and that is the fuel that he gives to Goku so that Goku can, you know, basically go ham and kill Frieza. So, I mean, I, I would have to disagree that, that he never really cared. It was just for revenge. I mean, it was obviously a huge part of it was revenge. And mm -hmm. But I think the selfish part, you know, he wanted to wish for immortality. I don't think that that was because he was being selfish. I think that that's because he saw no other way of ridding, you know, the universe of Frieza other than being immortal. Because at that time, Frieza is the most powerful being that anyone has ever seen, mm -hmm. ever. And so I think that the wish was less about being selfish and more about being like, this is a requirement. If I don't have this, I'm never going to be able to be Frieza. Right. And the other thing is like, Vegeta, whether he would admit it or not, I think he's always had a soft spot in his heart for Goku because 
they're both Saiyans, and they're like the last two true Saiyans left. And I think that's a big part why Vegeta stuck around long enough to have this, like, you know, turnaround is because if he leaves Goku, then he is completely on his own. He is, you know, for all intents and purposes, the last Saiyan because Goku is a Saiyan, but Goku is kind of the, the one off. Goku is like the exception to the rule uh, as far as, you know, have because he's an Earthling, but he's a Saiyan Earthling. So, you know, he has other roots in other places mm-hmm. and Vegeta doesn't really have that. And so... I mean, obviously, he stuck around, too, because he wants to, you know, not train with Goku, but train against Goku and become stronger than Goku. But I think that deep down, the underlying thing that always held him together was that he didn't have anything else, and he wanted to be with the the last remaining Saiyan. He wanted to be where he... It, Goku is the last thing that he can hold on to and be in a place where he feels like he belongs. So I think he, I think he does. I think he still cares about the Saiyans. Okay. So this is going to be one of those videos where it's going to be very double-sided. So what we want to know is from the rest of you guys watching is what are your thoughts on everything we discussed here? Which side are you on? Do you think that uh, Vegeta will want to see Kamar Sans or not and why? So let us know in the comment section below and let's see what the rest of the community thinks. Uh, but other than that, do you have any final words? Um, yeah, just just a little bit. I mean, I, I don't – so – Maybe maybe Vegeta like seeking them out and ruling them and bringing the race, you know, like being the leader. That might be a little bit of a stretch, but I think I think he would be happy to know, you know, that there. Are, I think he would be happy to be around other Saiyans and just know that they were alive. And just just even if it's just the fact that Frieza didn't get them all, you know, like just mm-hmm. that little bit, I think would make him, you know, happy. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, to those watching, again, let us know your thoughts. Uh, check out Danny, who's going to be linked in the description below, because he's got some pretty awesome content. You got awesome content, right? I heard you do. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, B+. Plus, B+. B+. Plus, <laughs> B <maybe. plus>. yeah. <laughs> uh, and vice versa, of course, if you're on this channel, check out my channel, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, but other than that, uh, let us know your thoughts. Leave a like for any if you enjoyed today's discussion, and uh, we'll just take it from there. So my name is Danny. And I am Dino. You're not Dino. Oh. Oh, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm Dino, and I'm joined by Danny. And we'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace. Bye.